Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Revit Sand 4 H2O textile jacket. The Sand 4 H2O textile jacket is one of Revit's adventure travel jackets which combines a tough outer with the flexibility for long trips. The outer material is a ripstop polyester, so the threads that you can see woven in cross sections across the outer are there to stop any tears travelling through the fabric. It's the same material used throughout the jacket, so you know you've got the toughness for those big adventures. In keeping with the adventure travel concept, this jacket is designed to work with Rivet's Segure Neck Brace. These straps here on the front of the jacket and then they're duplicated on the back mean you can attach the neck brace to the jacket rather than having to wear a separate strapped harness around your body to keep the neck brace in place. Going back to some more traditional features, there are light reflective strips on the front, the sleeves and the back that help you stand out in a car's headlight beam. There are fit adjusters at the arms where there are poppers for the upper arms just here and then there are belts below the elbow. You also get adjustment at the waist and the one here is height adjustable. So if you want to pull the jacket tighter at a different part, you just slide the adjusters up or down until they're at the right part for your shape. Those fit adjusters are really handy when adapting this jacket to suit use with or without the removable linings, which I'll get to in a bit. The main fastener to this jacket is a chunky tooth zip with a pull tab that's really easy to grasp even when you're wearing gloves. The collar fastener is a press stud and it secures to this sliding plate that has five different positions depending on how tightly you want the jacket to fit around the neck. It can also be secured back by putting the popper on this one here which means you've got a little bit of more airflow coming in around the neck. Behind that main fastener is the first of several venting options that are available with this jacket. Instead of having the main zip done up, this smaller one behind here connects an inner channel with mesh fabric that allows air to flow through and help you stay cool. There are then vents at the chest where these unzip here and then can be folded back and poppered in place against that there. There's a neat touch to this jacket that Revit have duplicated the light reflective panel that sits on the outside. So you get it again, even if you're riding along with the vents open. There's one of those vents on each side and I found those very effective in my time wearing the jacket, which handily came just as Britain had one of those really rare heat waves that we get. The other vents on the front are at each bicep here and then there are two zip vents on the back. The cuffs on this jacket open up nice and wide and they give plenty of room to get gloves on the inside before securing with a zip, Velcro and a popper. So they, you know they will not be coming undone in a hurry. The pockets in the front are the standard position just above the waist, but they have an unusual fastening setup that I actually quite liked when I wore this jacket. They do up with these zips that curve around, meaning the covering flap here folds over as you do up the zip. It's much less hassle than doing up a zip and then folding it over to secure it with Velcro. These pockets are waterproof too, which I find a real plus. And then in addition to those, there's also the traditional pocket at the base of the spine, and that's also waterproof. Revit say that pocket at the back is large enough to fit the liners that are taken out of the jacket when you do remove them. I could get one liner or the other in that pocket, either the thermal liner or the waterproof liner, but I couldn't fit them both in at the same time. So one last bit on the exterior at the back, there's a red tab just below the neck, which is a strong loop for hanging the jacket up. And that's a bit easier than using the small loop inside, which is actually meant for securing the inner linings in place. So let's move on to those linings. The first layer in from the outer shell is a waterproof membrane, which secures into the jacket with poppers at the collar and also at the cuffs. It's made from Revit's Hydrotex light membrane, so it's very flexible and it's been designed so it can be worn as a separate layer on its own when you're off the bike. There's also a short connection zip on the waterproof layer, so that will make sure it stays secured to the back of your riding trousers that stops it riding up and leaving a gap for rain to run through and get to the inside. The jacket's quilted thermal liner attaches inside the waterproof membrane and it's a full sleeve option with a large pocket on the inside. That thermal liner can also be attached directly to the outer of this jacket, which gives you the option to ride with just the thermal liner in if you know it's going to be cold, but you're also confident that it's not going to rain. One thing I found when I was riding with this jacket with no liners in place, I had neither the waterproof nor the thermal liner in on a couple of really warm and sunny days, there's no pocket on the inside of the main shell that's big enough for a phone. The two pockets that are on the inside of the main shell are both too small for a phone, so I needed to have one of the linings in place to have room to put my phone in there. So let's cover the impact armour. There are protectors at the shoulders and also at the elbows where there are adjusting tabs that let you choose from three positions to make sure that that armour covers your actual elbow. It's pretty flexible stuff and it meets the higher level two of the CE standard. 
And it's also passed optional tests to show it's effective in both extreme heat and extreme cold. Back and chest protection isn't included with this jacket, but there are inserts that are available for both and they can be fitted into pockets inside the jacket. As a jacket overall, the Sandfor H2O meets the AA class within the overall CE safety standard, which is the middle of the three levels that are available. On the inside, there are two connection zips to join the jacket to Revit's trousers. The most likely option you're gonna go for is the matching Sand 4 H2O trousers, which have a similar construction and also have removable waterproof and thermal liners, just like the jacket. With the jacket costing £419.99 as we record this, and the trousers coming in at £100 less than that, this combination ends up totaling two pence short of £740 as we record this. The jacket's available in sizes from extra small to 4XL for men, which is a range from a 38 inch chest to a 52 inch chest, though if you want the extra small size, only this black colour is available. The trousers come in sizes from a 28 inch waist up to a 42 inch waist and in three different leg lengths. There's a women's version of both the jacket and the jeans, which come in sizes 6 to 20 for the jacket and 6 to 18 for the trousers. And those trousers also have three leg length options like the men's sizes. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Revit Sand 4 H2O jacket. But if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.